So let's look back then at that 5-0 hammering of Sheffield United by Arsenal at the Emirates. You mentioned it already, Cass, that Eddie Nketiah scored his first Premier League hat-trick in that game, sort of making the most of the opportunity that he's been given, replacing the injured Gabriel Jesus, yeah. unfortunately. As, but, as I say, Nketiah taking that opportunity. And you were just saying there about... Hard to be a number nine at Arsenal. Why is that? Well, it's a bit like City. And look, Haaland's got lots of goals. Mm -hmm. But it's still a hard because you don't get a lot of the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the play is generally... And look, Odegaard didn't start the game yesterday. Uh, but generally, Martinelli, Saka, they get a lot of the ball from the fullbacks. So mm -hmm. the, it's always going fullbacks to the wingers. They get on one-on-ones. And you're playing on your own. I, I keep looking at Enketa and thinking, how good would he have been with a partner? Have you had someone alongside him? Because he's very Ian Wright like. He's quick feet. He, he's got. He makes decisions really quickly, um, and he, he's a natural goal scorer. You can see that in his game. But Ian always had a partner. Eddie doesn't have that. Mm. He has to play. You know, literally angles, make himself available, lead the line, and he's done that well. And he's not the biggest. I just think it's a tough gig to expect him to get lots and lots of goals. Like Harland's slightly different because. He's obviously six foot five, and City create probably still more chances than Arsenal. Uh, but it is hard at times for Haaland because he doesn't get a lot of the ball. Mm. Um, so I sort of feel for Nketiah in that way. I, I think he's a terrific striker. I really well, do. Despite that hat trick yesterday, Gabby Agbon Lahore had this to say about Nketiah. I look at Nketiah and, and I'm not judging him on today. I feel like today, great first goal, but. You're not even getting that space against the top top defenders, mate. Mm. I've watched him against them um, Spurs. Yeah, didn't have anything. Van yeah. der Veen, Romero had him on lock. I think he's an okay striker to play some games for Arsenal throughout the season and come on off the bench. But I don't see him as that striker who's going to mm. get them goals today. Was like, imagine Haaland playing against like that that Sheffield United defense yeah. at, at the Etihad today. No. They probably get six or seven. So yeah, yeah, I think yeah. the catcher's a good player, but I don't think he's the answer mm. for Arsenal for every game this mm. season. He so, has played against Sheffield United already, hasn't he? Haven't Sheffield United played Man City? I think they've already played them. You might be right. I can't remember. Off the top I, of my I, head. I think they have. Yes, they um, have. Uh, yeah. No, sorry. Uh, have thought, they? Yes, they did earlier yeah, in the season. I thought they did, yeah. 2 1 win. No, I don't City agree have. with Gabby. I totally don't agree. I think he's wrong. I think he's. So what's what's he said that's. Annoyed you then? Well, no, not annoyed me. I just think I don't agree with Gabby. I think he's a terrific striker. I think there's, you know, because it's Sheffield United, I, I by the way, I think it's last year. Arsenal, uh, Eddie led the line at Arsenal last year and played one of his best games that he played for Ars uh, Arsenal at Spurs. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought he was terrific that day. Um, I'm sure they, they won the way uh, last season. I think um, you're right, yeah. yeah and, and, and I remember thinking, what a performance by Eddie Nkete in that game. You know, really led the line brilliantly. Um, and I and I I'm a fan because I think there's way more to improvement to come. I think as the team develops, I think Eddie will. Whether I think there's a more interesting debate to say can Arsenal win the title if Eddie played week in week out? I think that's a way more debatable one. But that same argument applies with, applies to me with Gabriel Jesus. I think I think Enketier is a way more natural goal scorer than Gabriel Jesus. He's got different qualities. Mm -hmm. His work rate is exceptional, which Eddie's not shy of working either, by the way. Um, he's a bit stronger. His upper body's a bit stronger. He can li literally go out wide in positions and he can play that sort of wing role at times for Arsenal. They're both very good players in this Arsenal team. <sighs> I think it's a bit unfair. I, I, I think there's more, more to come from Eddie. I really do. Obviously, with Jesus being out, we, uh, I don't know if we know exactly how long he's out for now. Uh, they've got West Ham in the Cup Arsenal, followed by Newcastle away mm. next. You'd expect, obviously, Eddie and Ketia will retain the sort of striking role. Uh, is this a, a great opportunity for him? Can you see him making a, a further mark in his Arsenal career? Yeah, I, I do. I think he's... Look, he was he was nowhere for a while, wasn't he? At Arsenal, he weren't signing got a, a contract. Lost, yeah. He got a bit lost, and he felt like the club were going to move him on. They decided to let, to let Balogun go, who were they out on, out on loan in France? Mm -hmm. They let him go. They wanted to keep Enketia, so they obviously think there's way more improvement to come of the 24, 25, 26, that sort of age. They they feel like they'll have a much more mature striker. And you're right, Nat. Games coming up, you're always under pressure playing for big clubs. You, you, about your performance I think he long term he'll deliver and I wouldn't be surprised if he got 15-18 goals this year 
I wouldn't really? be surprised. That many? I think in he can. all competitions. Uh, and yeah, in all competitions, that it wouldn't surprise me. Um, do I think he'll be where Haaland is? No, I think Haaland's further down the track, and he's younger than Eddie. You know, but he's in a side, and he's he's had that number one role, hasn't he? Hmm. You know, Dortmund, and he's had, Eddie's just find he's been finding his way. It's been a bit of a coin flip whether he's been in the team or not. But I think generally, I think Arteta probably thinks the world of him. Well, Arsenal was certainly ruthless against Sheffield United, scoring five from their eight shots on target. As for the visitors, their travelling fans had very little to shout about. Didn't register a single shot on target no. in the game. They are bottom of the Premier League. Now, after Bournemouth's win over Burnley, they are now the only side without a win uh, in the league. Nine defeats in ten. It's the worst start by any side to a Premier League season. Are they doomed? Well, if you read their other stats, Nat, that are seven goals for, 29 against, Mm -hmm. uh, without looking at the points table, which is just one, um, yeah, at the moment they are. And it doesn't seem any shining lights there to go, do you know what, they could turn it around at the moment. Paul Heckenbottom has been on the end of some big defeats this season. They battled away. It feels like it's a sinking ship at the moment. That's what it feels like. Um, it'd be interesting to see what happens over the next week or so because um, they're rooted bottom of the table at the moment. And they they don't look like a team that are going to get, from what I've seen, they've gone through 10 games and got one point. Mm. I'm not sure they'll get past 12 points by the end of the season. That bad? Well, they, from what I've seen so far, I can't see a way of them winning. I haven't really seen a performance where I've gone, do you know what? They could they could pick up three points there. Yeah, I, I think like we mentioned before, you have to go back to that Spurs defeat where you feel like that's just shell. They are yeah. shell shocked as a result of that being one nil up as they were heading into the ninetieth minute, and then to lose two one. They've they, they've just haven't really looked the same since. Yeah, that, and look, sadly. and the manager's spinning plates. I mean, yeah. yesterday he's played Riyad Brewster down the middle, who hasn't played for a long time. Um, I'm sure he. You know, Paul's got his reasons for de- making a change in that position, and I'm sure he also he's got a number of injuries as well. Um, so it's it's a tough one because you can't you're not looking at him and thinking, do you know what they could get a couple of goals the way they play. They've been unfortunate. The goalkeepers made saves. They've missed chances. None of that was apparent yesterday. There was no, no missed chances. Raya in goal didn't have a thing to do all game. No. That's pretty much doomsday scenario for them. Weekend Sports Breakfast with Natalie Sawyer and Tony Cascarino. Sunday mornings from 6 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.